In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the loft NURBS object to create a set of curtains using nothing but hand-drawn splines. What the loft NURBS object does is it takes a series of splines, like the ones we see here, the sort of squiggly line, and then it stretches a skin over it and it does this for each and every spline. So we're stretching a skin over these three curves. And at any point we can come back in, move these around, and interactively adjust our NURBS object. A really simple way to start with, the, uh, with this concept is to create a new scene and add a star object to your scene duplicate the star and uh, I, I, I duplicated it by holding down the control key on my keyboard and dragging and then drag that star towards uh, the back here go ahead and click on the second star and go into its object properties in the attributes manager and adjust the inner radius so what we're doing is we are changing the shape of the star to a circle, basically. I'm then going to take a copy of my first star by, again, holding down control, dragging it down to the bottom of my list, and then moving it in my, ob in my viewport behind that third object. So I now have a star, a star object that's been made more or less circular, and a third star. I'm now going to add a loft NURBS object. So you'll press down and hold on the HyperNURBS icon until I get to loft NURBS. And as you can see, it's a series of splines, and they have a skin stretched over them. Then what you do is one after the other, and in order, you drag these splines into your loft NURBS object. And what it will do is stretch a skin over them, as we can see right here. We're going from a star to that circular shape to a star. And if we want, we can come back in to our middle star right here, move that spline around, and even scale it up or down, and the loft NURBS object will react in time. Now to create those curtains. Go ahead and create a new scene. I'm going to hit Command N or Control N on a Windows machine to do that. And then go into your top view. So that's your XZ view. Go ahead and zoom out a bit and take the freehand spline tool. Use this to draw a squiggly line from your origin to this first large grid mark. We're just creating a, a few waves here. We're not looking for perfection, and if you wanted it, uh, I'm sure you could take the time to do it. What I'm then going to do is make a copy of this spline object. So again, I'm going to hold down control and drag to create a copy. I'm going to take my move tool and my model tool and move this spline up. And now I have two splines. I'm now going to use my loft NURBS object to blend between these two. So add a loft NURBS object to your scene and drag your splines in in order. Or if you would prefer, you can multiple select your splines by holding shift and drag them all in at the same time. What you see now is that we have a uh, what looks like a curtain. It's a straight uh, hanging curtain. If we wanted to make one that sort of bustled on one side, or I believe that's the word, uh, I'd take the top one, move it up so that it's taller, and then I would take my bottom spline right here, take my scale tool and my model tool, and scale it down. I can see that it's now uh, bushled like this. I'm going to move it over to the other side by taking my Move tool and dragging it over like so. I now have a curtain that's hanging at an angle. I'm going to copy this spline. So I'm going to hold down Control and drag. And I'm going to drag it in between my two splines in my Object Manager. So I've now got an exact copy of this that's in between. And I'm going to move it up by grabbing its blue handle and moving it upwards in space. I can scale it down on the x-axis and move it over again to create something that looks like this. 
If I wanted to mirror it so I could create two curtains, a simple way to do that would be to add a symmetry object to my scene and drag my loft nerves object into my symmetry. That's a very brief introduction to how to use the loft nerves object in Cinema 4D to create a curtain.